Hi guys, this is Jarrah at Spy. I want to say a massive thank you for 1,000 subscribers. That is it's such a big number and, well, for me at least, like, I've had a couple of channels in the past and I've never hit 1,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for that and I really hope you keep subscribing and watching my videos. So let me know what you want me to do for 1,000 subs. I'm not really sure what to do. So let me know what you think I should do. Okay, so, um, today's tutorial is going to be on Element. Now, I was going to do a motion, a motion tracking tutorial with Bougie and Element, but... Uh, my bougie seems to be playing up at the moment, so I can't really show you that. But what I can do is show you After Effects CS6 motion tracking with um, Element. So as you can see, if I play thin thing here, oh, pardon me, you've got the actual 3D text from Element tracked in. Now this was all done within After Effects, no Cinema 4D whatsoever. So it's pretty useful to have this um, ability. And as you can see, it looks quite nice, and all the colours blend in with the map and so on. So yeah, it's a pretty good tutorial. Let's just get started here. Now I'm going to drag my... Um, I'm going to duplicate this composition. I'm just going to get a brand new composition. This. Then I'm going to go delete, 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 delete. And delete. Okay, right. So now we have a fresh composition with our cinematic in it. Nothing here at all. No effects, no nothing. So the first thing we want to do is motion track this clip. Now to do this, you can if you, this only works if you're in After Effects CS6. I'm sorry if you're CS5, but because I update when the new one new ones come out, I'm always um, kind of on the update. So to do this, you need to right click the layer and click track camera. And now this is just going to do it. You can do whatever you want now. This is just going to run in the background. So the next thing we need to do is add in a text layer for the text you want. So I'm going to just write element for now. Font I'm using is Typograph Pro for those of you who are curious. Um, now we have that, we can actually hide that layer. If we just call this Element Text, that shouldn't affect the actual text there. Yep. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is go to Layer, New Solid, call this element, oh, element, make it the comp size and hit OK. Now, what we want to do is select this layer, the, the new solid we just made, go to Effect, Video Copilot, Element. And voila, and hopefully it's done. This is done, I believe. Yep, okay, right, we'll do this in a second. Now, just quickly, before we go into Element, quickly, duplicate the Drone Cine 1, um, or your cinematic layer. Call it Enviro underscore map, or call it whatever you want. And I'm just going to delete the camera tracker effect from that layer. And you can hide that and mute it, because you don't need it. It's only for on your own element. So now you've still got this on the original layer. So go into the element layer, and where it says custom layers, go to like bring that down, then go to custom text and maps, masks, sorry. And where it says path layer one, choose element underscore text, the text layer you made the text with. Pretty simple so far. Now where it says custom texture maps, go to layer one and choose enviro map, the duplicated um, background. So now we have this, pretty simple. Nothing's really happening at the moment, there's no text or anything, and it's pretty boring. So you can get rid of custom layers now, just minimise that down. Now here's the interesting bit. Where it says scene interface, click scene setup. This will open up the main element menu. Now as you can see, it's pretty confusing so far. There's nothing really big or interesting. And you've got obviously all these models at the side here you can add in if you really want if you want these in. But I don't want them, so I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna just hit the extrude button up here. And boom, suddenly we, our text is now 3D. You can see if you hold down and click, you can drag around and view your text. So this is pretty cool. Now, the next thing you want to do is click Environment. And this should come up Texture Channel. Now, the little drop down button here, click that, and go down to Custom Layer 1 or Drone Cine 1. Click that. And that will then choose that Environment Map layer. So if you hit OK, nothing really happens because there's no texture on this. Now, basically, what happens, that will basically add a massive sky around the text. So any material we apply onto the text will react with the um, massive sky that we just added in through the environment. Now obviously you can choose all these different ones you've got, you can go to that lobby, you can see the different ones. But we want to use our one that matches the map we have so you can make custom ones. Okay, so now in the bottom left here it's where it says presets, click that. And you can see you've got all these preset layers here. Now I'm just going to use black hole because I think it's quite a cool effect and as you can see it's now got this effect, it's got the shininess, and it actually reacts with the element with the environment map. So if we go to environment and change this to a different one, you'll see it changes. Then if we go to maybe a garden, you'll see it gets more green. If 
but we want to keep it on the actual map so it suits the colors. So now all you have to do is just hit OK. And voila, we now have text in our scene. As you see, it's all white and horrible, and if we scroll through it, it's not motion tracked or anything. So here's the interesting bit. Here's the motion tracking bit now. So click on the original motion track cinematic. Make sure you've got the layer selected, and you should get all these dots. I'm just going to hide elements for now. So what you need to do now is hold the mouse button down and select all the ones on the floor roughly. So go around like this. This is what I tend to do, like this. And now you've got all of these selected. Now right click the, the red point there in the middle and click create null and camera. And there you go. So now you can deselect them and click off that layer. So now as you can see we have a 3D camera track, 3D tracker camera, so that's the camera, and we have a null object right there where the red point was. So if we scroll through this now, you'll see the null object is actually tracked to the scene. Now the default camera tracker in After Effects CS6 is actually pretty good and I've found it is actually better than Bouju in a lot of cases. Um, obviously that is going to be different depending on your cinematic, like for this one it works quite well. So now if we add the element layer again, you see it's all the way back there and as we scroll through it you can see it is actually in the scene but it's all really small and you go past it really quickly. So we want to change that. So what you need to do is go onto the element layer and where it says group 1, bring that down. Then bring down particle replicator and there you go, you've now got the position X, Y and position Z. So the first thing you want to do is where it says the tracker null, then select the null object and hit P to bring up the position. Now you want to copy these positions onto here. So the X position here is 538.3. It's going to position it slightly across. The next one is what 2064.4. It's going to bring it down a lot. And then the Z is 3404.1. 3404.1. I don't use these numbers, use the numbers that matches the position. Now as you can see it's, it's changed a lot and it is actually most tracked onto the floor there if you can see it. Now we don't want that, it's way too small and we don't like it. So you can go to then particle look underneath, so underneath particle replicator is particle look. Open that up and it should have a size. Now I want to bring this up quite a bit, so maybe a hundred. And now it's a lot bigger and as you can see it is pretty nicely motion tracked into the scene. And obviously it's on the floor here, I don't want it to be on the floor. So I'm going to go back to Particle Replicator. In the Y position I'm going to change that, so I'm going to drag it down to bring it further up. And as you can see the texture is reacting with the scene, so as it gets close to the white light, the white gets increased. So if we bring it back down you can see the white and it all changing and stuff. So it's pretty cool, and as you can see it's now motion tracked into the scene. And obviously to bring it further forward in your scene you can edit the Z position. So if you want it here, now it's there, you can pretty much put it wherever you want. So let's put it roughly in the middle there, and we go right through it here, which is pretty cool. So that is now the basics of getting um, using Element to place 3D text inside your cinematics. And obviously this is really useful considering you don't have to open up Cinema 4D or Bouju. It can all be done within After Effects as long as you have the Element 3D plugin from Video Copilot and After Effects CS6 if you want to motion track it. Now obviously you can add in other stuff as well. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I wanted this to be a, not a quick tutorial but a basic element tutorial. Now I really do need suggestions on tutorials guys. I want to get a bit more active with you so keep giving me suggestions guys. Let's see if we can hit 20 likes, maybe 25 for hitting 1000 subscribers. And be sure to leave a comment, be sure to subscribe and I shall see you guys later.